hello my lovely foodie members welcome or oh, welcome back again to my channel i hope you all are doing perfectly fine today i'm sharing with you this party style jollof stew recipe it's so easy and the outcome is so lovely so if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for kindly do subscribe to my channel and be part of this beautiful family let's get started for this party style jollof stew recipe i will start by heating up my pan so that i'll go in with my one and a half tablespoon of shea butter and also a little bit of cooking oil let it heat up a little bit and i'll go in with my chopped onions don't worry i'm going to list everything i use in the description box for you to check it out okay now let's saute the onion for about one to two minutes and we will proceed to add in the next ingredients which is the blended pepper garlic and some onions okay stir everything beautifully and allow it to cook on medium heat for about five to ten minutes and if you are still watching this video at this point and you haven't subscribed yet kindly do subscribe and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much for doing that <laughs> after extra five to ten more minutes the sauce is looking all good as you can see i have less water in it indicating that it is ready so next i'm going to add in my next ingredient which is my tomato paste you can also use fresh tomatoes if you don't want tomato paste in your jollof rice okay but trust me when you add in tomato paste you're going to achieve the perfect color that you want okay i will stir everything together i don't have any chicken stock or meat stock around me so i will go in with just water if you have meat stock around you it's a plus for you okay mix it all stir everything together cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes i will check on the stew again give it a good mix because we don't want this to to get burn at all okay cover it again for extra 10 to 15 minutes on a low medium heat whilst that is going on let me use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you for liking my videos sharing my videos and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful right so after extra 10 more minutes the stew is looking all heavy right now so next i'll go in with some chicken seasoning meat seasoning powder i will also go in with some jello spices and also salt to taste i didn't use any meat stock that's why i'm using chicken seasoning and meat seasoning powder to give it that meat flavor in my jello fries okay you can just omit that seasoning if you don't want it next i'll go in with some mackerels and trust me the reason why i love mackerels is that i just love the rich taste that it will give it to my jello fries trust me and trust the process and you are definitely going to love it so next let's stir everything together and since we added in some seasoning we just have to cover this and allow it to cook for extra 10 to 15 minutes on a medium heat and after we back to check on it all that is left is for us to add in our rice and start cooking our jello fries at this point our stew is ready so i added in my rice and just look at how beautiful and rich the jello fries came out this party jello stew recipe is a must have and i hope you're going to try thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy to this point that means you are a proud foodie member. Thank you for watching and kindly stay blessed.